the upper respiratory system. And this opening is commonly referred to as the nostril. More technically, you would refer to it as the external nares. And air enters through the nostrils and goes into this cavity, which is one half of a two compartment cavity separated by the nasal septum, which is removed here. This is the vestibule of the nasal cavity. And then right back over here, the nasal cavity extends to a passageway between the nasal cavity and the pharynx, which is back here. And this passageway is referred to as the internal nares. If you look on the lateral walls of each of the nasal cavities, you'll see these bony extensions covered by mucous membrane. And this mucous membrane is your typical mucous membrane of the upper respiratory system, pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Each of these shelf-like extensions are referred to as concha. You have three conchi over here. This right, one right over here, this small one up in the back, is the superior nasal concha. Then you have the middle nasal concha right over here. And then right over here, you have the inferior nasal concha. These are also referred to as the turbinates. And the reason they're referred to as the turbinates is because they create these narrow passageways which cause the air as it flows through the nasal cavity to go into eddies, in other words, to undergo turbulence. And this increase in turbulence increases the contact of the air with the mucous membrane lining the nasal cavity. Before leaving the nasal cavity, let's note a couple of paranasal sinuses that you can see here. This is a paranasal sinus which is within the sphenoid bone. And Right over here is a paranasal sinus, which is within the frontal bone. 